If you're having trouble printing with the Epson EcoTank 15,000 model, you're not gonna wanna miss this video. Hey YouTube, what is going on? Brandon here with another printer repair video. And today I've got the Epson EcoTank 15,000 model. Essentially in this video, what I'm gonna be talking about is if you're having the issue of not being able to print your printing blank pages, a certain color is not printing, lines or choppy prints are coming out, or you have an overall and general print quality issue, you're not gonna wanna miss this video. In this video, I'm gonna be giving you a solution to that problem, and it's a solution that has worked time and time again. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Everything from printer repairs to printer unboxings is what you're gonna find on this channel. If this video ends up being helpful, please make sure to like the video. Any questions at all, comment below. And if you want more content like this, please make sure to subscribe. All right, so you're having trouble printing with the Epson EcoTank 15,000, you're gonna need to use the Best Printers cleaning kit. Essentially what has happened is the print head on this printer has become clogged. And what you need to do is you need to break up that blockage. To break up that blockage, what you're gonna do is you're gonna use this kit. You're gonna take this syringe, it's 20 milliliters. A lot of solution is able to fit in there at once. It already has a silicone tubing on it. And you also have some attachments, but you're not gonna really need them with this specific printer. All you're gonna do is you're gonna disassemble the print head area. And I'm gonna be showing you how to do that in this video. And you're gonna be taking this fluid, putting it into this syringe, and you're gonna be pushing this fluid from the syringe into the print head through the nozzles breaking up the blockage breaking up the dried ink the gunk that's in there and so there are a few other items you will need you're going to need just some paper towel there are gloves that come in the packaging so you're not going to really need to worry about that but paper towel is really going to help you to absorb all of that solution that you're pushing out under the print head i'll show you how to install this so there's going to be a link for this product down in the description below you can pause this video Go down there, click the link, and come back and watch the rest of this video. You're gonna want it coming on the way. It has fast shipping. If you order it now, it can come uh, quickly so that you can get started on this project. In the meantime, you can get your printer ready for this cleaning kit. So you can get your printer prepared, and once you've got the kit, you pop it out, use it, uh, watch this video several times, and you will get back up and running in no time. So this video is going to save you money make sure you follow all of the instructions. You're gonna to wanna to watch this video from the beginning all the way until the end because all the information I talk about in here is going to be vital to you actually being successful with this cleaning. Now, anyone can do this cleaning. No one is limited to being able to do this. So if you feel like this may be a big undertaking, hundreds, thousands of people have already done this with various different printer models. So don't get too worried. It's a highly rated product on Amazon and you're not gonna be disappointed. You're gonna be happy with the results and it's going to save you so much money. You don't wanna to have to replace this printer. You want to be able to fix it. For additional support and FAQs, additional videos, uh, additional videos are on my channel. You can actually get some more support through my website, bestprinterstech.com. That's gonna be linked down in the description below. There will be other products that I end up talking about in this video. One of the main issues that this printer has is when you're running your ink too low and you're not filling it up enough with enough ink or you know low ink, that can cause this problem. You're going to most likely need to purchase a new set of bottled ink. I will link that down below and I'll link any other products that you're gonna need down below that would help with this whole process. All right, so that's all the upfront information I need to tell you. Now let's get started with this repair. So the very first thing you need to do is determine what colors are not printing or are faded. So to determine that, you're gonna to go to maintenance, you're gonna to go to print head nozzle check. It's the very first option. You're gonna click on that. Once you've clicked there, you're gonna have the option to print out a report. And this report is gonna tell you what colors are having the most issues. In my case, I actually got this printer out of the box and it had an issue with magenta. Magenta was not printing well when I printed photos. They were not coming out anywhere near what they were supposed to be coming out as. Now, if this comes out blank for you, that means that none of your colors are working and you're gonna need to do a general cleaning. And I'll explain how to do that uh, later on in this video. Now, what we need to do at this point is print another nozzle check, not for the purpose of having the nozzle check, but just so that the print head gets unlocked. Once it starts printing, you're going to unplug the printer just like this. Thank you. 
If you notice there, as soon as I heard the print head going back and forth and the printer started printing, I unplugged the printer. Don't worry, this is not going to cause any damage. I've done this hundreds of times. So at this point, you're able to work with the printer. Uh, but this is where we're going to actually start preparing the printer for the cleaning. At this point, uh, we cannot do the cleaning because everything is still in place. We need to start removing some things. So first off, the paper uh, that you were printing off, you're going to want to remove that because we're going to use paper towel to actually absorb the ink and cleaning fluid that's going to be pushed through here. But the very first thing we need to start doing is unscrewing the top of the print head. And we also need to unscrew multiple different screws from the front plate that is on the printer. I'm going to show you how to do all of that here in the video. This is an important step. I will advise towards being organized, trying to keep everything in a good place, clean up your area so that you are able to work on this efficiently. So there are three different screws that need to be removed from the print head. You see me here removing the first one. You cannot use a regular sized Phillips head screwdriver. This project is going to require you to have a smaller screwdriver set. Once you have this first screw out of the way, you actually can remove the top cover of the print head. You're going to have to unlatch and wiggle a little bit, but it does come off after this first screw. Now, just a really quick note for the record. There are a lot of screws that need to be removed before you have access to the print head, but you are able to get access to the print head. Just make sure that that you purchase a smaller screw set there are there's one small screw and the rest are you know medium to smaller sized so just get a kit on amazon i'm going to link it down below it's vital that you use the links down below okay so we're back to this top cover for the print head it's going to come right off make sure you don't yank it off because you could break a piece and it won't go back on the way it needs to but now that that's off we now can begin working on some of the other screws the next one is going to be on the left hand side of the print head and this one is actually holding down the entire print head is being held down basically with the screws uh, there's a portion of it it's two pieces that once you remove these screws you can actually have access to the nozzles the nozzles are what we actually really need access to because that is what we're going to be using the cleaning kit on and that's how we're going to be able to clean the print head and solve this problem so what i'm unscrewing right now is the front top plate of the printer this actually holds in the print head without removing this you cannot have access to the print head and what we need to clean there are multiple screws i believe there's between six seven screws that you need to remove you see me using you know different types of tools and different things i'm just whatever i have laying around is what i'm using i really should have a screw set like i'm recommending that you get so once all of the screws are loosened and you're able to lift this up a little bit, you're gonna need to actually detach this arm. And this is the arm that props up the top of the printer. And you can do that by, you know, just a motion of twisting it, moving it out of place, twisting it up, and then you can have total access to remove that top front plate. And you can actually bring this arm back down to hold the top of the printer up. All right, so we're not done yet. We have one more screw. It's under this plastic piece. You're gonna wanna fold over. Don't remove this. This is a vital part of the printer. You don't want to remove that plastic piece. Just fold it up. Once you remove this screw, everything is going to be loose. So all you have to do at this point is unlatch and unclip the ink cartridges. Now, this is not an ink cartridge printer, but those cartridges actually have ink that flow through them that comes from the tanks. So you're going to unclip those and remove them. This is something you would not normally see unless you were doing this. So now you understand how your printer actually works. Uh, but you're unclipping this, lifting them up one by one, and the goal is to get all of them removed and you're gonna lay this whole thing to the side. This looks intimidating. This looks like you broke the printer. Please don't worry. Just follow the instructions in this video. And now we are going to be using the best printers cleaning kit. Again, there's a link for it down in the description below. While you're setting up your printer, you can have this purchased on its way through Amazon and it will get to your front doorstep in no time. There is one day shipping on this product for many different locations. And this is all you're gonna need. This cleaning fluid, you have 100 milliliters. Now any paper towel that you have in your home, 
you're going to want to grab a piece, fold it all the way down. If you don't have paper towel, go out to the store and get some. Uh, you're going to fold it up just like this, nice and skinny so that you can fit it under the print head. It needs to be really flat in order to fit under here. And once it's flat, you're going to have no problem. You can just put it right down there and you move the print head right over it because you want it centered right in between the paper towel so that it can capture everything that we're going to push through. We're going to fill up our 20 milliliter syringe. You don't need any attachments. The silicone tubing that's already on the syringe is what you're going to use. Now, I have a problem with magenta. There's a color pattern and it's what's on the top of the ink tanks where you normally input your ink. That is the color pattern. That's how I know this one is magenta. I'm going to be pushing 20 milliliters of cleaning fluid through magenta. That's all I need to do in this case. If you had two colors that were giving you an issue, you would put 20 milliliters into one, 20 milliliters into the next one. If all four colors were giving you an issue, what you would do is put 20 milliliters into each nozzle and then whatever remaining fluid you have, you would push through each one individually little by little so that you could push all of this clean fluid into the nozzles. So really, you would put about 25 milliliters into each nozzle. In this case, with one color, I'm comfortable with 20 milliliters. You can do 25 and you would still have 75 milliliters left over. So this cleaning fluid, what it's doing is it's pushing through the dried up ink, the gunk. Over time, you know, your printer is going to wear, the print head is going to wear to the point where you have to push out that gunk. Doing a power cleaning on its own, doing a deep cleaning on its own is not going to solve it. That's probably why you're here watching this video. But doing this manual cleaning is going to ensure that you're pushing out everything. And essentially what you're doing is with the cleaning, you are making these nozzles like they're brand new. Like you just got the printer and ink just needs to flow back in there. And I'll explain that later on in this video. If you have any excess cleaning fluid or ink or anything that spills along the way, make sure it's dried up right away, especially on the nozzles in that area. On the bottom here, there's going to be a little bit more of moisture that you need to clean up and cleaning fluid that may have spilled a little bit. What you could do is every 10 milliliters, you can switch out that paper towel. That's totally up to you. Now at this point, we're gonna take this piece that we originally removed, which is the top of the print head, and we are going to reinstall this into the print head. All we need to do is line up these free flowing ink cartridges. Once these are lined up, we are going to install them all in one go just make sure they're together this is going to just make it so much easier you can do one by one but it'll be more difficult if you just line these up hold them together push them in and kind of wiggle them in place you know move them side to side don't force these in they need to be you know guided in. and once they're in position where you feel like they're going down and sinking in there you can start clicking them to lock them in place once you reach this point you're pretty much good to go. All you have to do now is uh, reinstall all of the screws, make sure they're nice and tight, and one by one, we're gonna replace every single screw that we removed. So I really hope you're watching this video all the way through the first time before you attempt this. You're gonna watch this a second time and you can skip around then. But it's important that before you get to this point where you're putting everything back together, that you have done all the cleaning that you feel comfortable with, that you have you feel satisfied and when you put this back together, you say, I pushed all the cleaning fluid that I could through here and there's really nothing left for me to do. That's why it's vital to have that nozzle report so you know what colors to work on. Now another thing is if the cleaning fluid is not pushing through for some reason, you are going to need to warm up the cleaning fluid and reapply with that warmed up cleaning fluid. Sometimes the gunk and the blockage is just so dry and so stuck in there, it needs warm cleaning fluid. Okay, so here we're going to be replacing this front top piece. This is important. You need to replace this, put this back together so that everything can function properly. And that arm is going to need to go through that hole. And then at that point, you can slide it back in. And there is a way that's not super complicated, but I can't really explain it where you're going to kind of get that back in place, that arm. You're going to tighten down all of the screws so that everything is snug. Everything is in place. Make sure you didn't lose any screws along the way. If you did look for them, make sure it's replaced uh, so that everything is intact when you go to turn on this printer 
At this point, you're going to need to wait 24 hours before you power back on, before you even plug the printer back in. Very, very important. 24 hours before you plug the printer back in. Once 24 hours has transpired, you now can plug in the printer and power it on. This next step is very important. This is how ink is going to be pushed back into the system. If you try to print right now, it's not going to work. You're going to click on maintenance. Then you're going to click on power cleaning. You may have done this in the past. The purpose of this is not to clean the print head. The purpose of us running a power cleaning is to get ink pushed back into the system. So if you have not replaced your ink at this point, this is the time where you definitely need to make sure your ink tanks are totally full. Again, there's a link down in the description below for some compatible remanufactured ink. Once you click power cleaning, you're going to go through all of the prompts. You can read through this. It really tells you that, you know, you can't be running power cleanings every other day. You, it has to be, you know, when there's really an issue, you're going to click OK for five seconds and the power cleaning starts. The power cleaning is going to use quite a bit of ink to push it back into the system and it also does its own cleaning but that's not the reason why we're doing it we need ink back into the system because we just removed a bunch of ink we pushed out the old ink with the cleaning solution once the power cleaning is over it's going to give you the option to print a nozzle report and you can see now magenta is 100 percent back there's one little break in there but that's totally fine that's going to come back uh, within a few more prints that i do this is originally how my magenta was looking it was broken it was cracked up at some point it was totally faded and not coming out and now it is totally restored you can have this with any color that's giving you a problem just follow the instructions in this video use the best printers cleaning kit linked down below if you have any questions at all comment below if you need additional support there's the best printers tech website linked down below as well my hope is that this solution works for you if it does let me know, comment below, leave a five-star review on the Best Printers Cleaning Kit. If this video was helpful, please make sure to like. Any questions at all, comment below. And if you want more content like this, please make sure to subscribe. That's really all I have for today. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time.